Savage Kitchen. Today, we are making cupcakes. I love this recipe. The base of the cupcakes is actually based on the eggnog cake recipe. I'll put a link to that up here. I made some minor alterations, so it's not quite as uh, dry and heavy as that uh, eggnog cake recipe. That's a pound cake. These are a little bit lighter, a little bit fluffier. And what goes on top of the cupcakes is a salted bourbon buttercream icing. In a minute. <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever done. Like, this is it. It, do it does not get any better than this frosting, it's so good. So let's jump right into this. This is a super simple recipe. Our base is a pre-packaged yellow cake mix. And for the non-bakers in the world, like me, this is a godsend. So starting with one package of this, and then we're gonna add two eggs, some butter, some eggnog. I have some left over from my homemade eggnog. Store-bought's totally fine for this also. Some grated nutmeg. <laughs> and bourbon. I'm gonna pet the bourbon. <laughs> that's, not, that's not creepy. For our bourbon buttercream icing, we're going to be using confectioner sugar, butter, and bourbon. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit of salt. But first, let's get our cupcakes cooking. So the very first thing we're gonna do is actually take a stick of softened butter and whip this up a little bit. So this I'm just going to do in a hand mixer. I have the stand mixer out, but we're going to use that for the, um, for the icing. All right, and to this, we're going to add our prepackaged yellow cake mix. If you're super ambitious, I'm sure you could do your own yellow cake mix recipe. Um, but let's make it easy on ourselves. Whip these together. Okay, two eggs. Which, <laughs> why can't I crack eggs? There we go. One. It's like the count in Sesame Street. Two. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> We're gonna take a cup and a half of eggnog. This has already been spiked, but if you saw my eggnog cake video, you'll know that it was too dry. And uh, so I'm gonna add the cup and a half of eggnog, but then I'm also gonna add some bourbon. I'm gonna have to make more of this, because this is really, really good. Let's add bourbon while we're at it. If you don't like the taste of alcohol, I don't know why you're here, but start with a little. You can always add more. We're gonna go, I know I want a lot, so I'm just gonna put four ounces in. <laughs> this is really not the right way to do this. <laughs> All right, so take either ground nutmeg or fresh. Um, I don't know, again, I'm doing this fresh, I would say maybe like a quarter teaspoon. Oh, I love the smell of fresh nutmeg. Ooh, that does smell good. Into a cupcake pan we go. Okay, so the amount of batter we made is gonna be enough for 24 cupcakes. I have muffins in here, I got little cupcake papers in it, it's like I actually bake. I'm gonna take an ice cream scoop um, that's got like a little lever in it. You could do this with a spoon. You could do it with a ladle. But I read this online. Apparently, you only fill the cups up like two thirds of the way. So let's try this. Into the oven, 375 for 15 minutes ish. Okay, cupcakes are in the oven. Let's talk about frosting. We want to take two cups. <laughs> I can check my recipe again. We're gonna take two cups of confectioner sugar, also known as powdered sugar, and sift that. The reason that we're gonna sift it first is because buttercream, you want it to be light and fluffy, and um, sifting helps that process. Also, apparently there's like 32 different types of buttercream. We are making what's referred to as American buttercream. 
I couldn't tell you the difference. I know that there's French buttercream. I think there's Swiss buttercream. I think the difference might be levels of sweetness. I don't know if this isn't the great British Bake Off. So for our salted bourbon buttercream frosting, we're gonna take two sticks of butter, two cups of sugar, a little bit of bourbon, a little bit of vanilla. We're gonna let the stand mixer do most of the work here because honestly, it just needs to whip for a really long time. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is put our softened butter into the bowl and uh, let this start mixing. It's gonna take a few minutes. So that's why I wanna get that started first. And in the meantime, I'm going to sift sugar into this bowl. Okay, you wanna let that beat the butter until the butter is actually a little bit whiter in color uh, and really, really broken down. Then we're gonna go about adding the sugar just a spoonful at a time. I hate what a mess this is. Sifting sugar. One cup down, one to go. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. So now we're going to go about adding our sifted powdered sugar, just a spoonful at a time. I've done this once before, it's super messy, so I learned you need to either take a, a dish towel or one of these covers and cover the bowl. Otherwise, powdered sugar is gonna go everywhere. <laughs> In theory, you take something like this, stick it in the cupcake, and if it comes out dry and clean, we're good. Oh, I don't think these are, <laughs> we're not good. <laughs> All right, longer than 15 minutes for this batch. All right, back to our icing. Okay, we're getting there. I'm just gonna scrape down a little bit of the sugar that's on the side. And we're gonna add in um, our salt, vanilla, and bourbon. And this is gonna be one of those things that, much like cooking, oh shit, this is a mess. It's gonna be a little bit to taste. <sighs> There's not a lot better in this world than just butter and sugar. But it does need a little salt. It does definitely need a little bourbon, and I think vanilla is gonna round it out nicely. So I'm gonna take What's this measurement? A quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I'm probably gonna end up adding more, but again, you can always add, you can never take away. So let's start small. I'm gonna throw in a dash of vanilla. I guess I should measure this. Um, let's go half a tablespoon of vanilla. Wow, helps if I take the whole cap off, huh? There we go. And then for bourbon, we're gonna do the same thing that we did for the cake batter. And that is start with two ounces, go to four. But I'm gonna start slowly. Faster. <laughs> Another two ounces of bourbon. I actually think the bourbon's good. Four ounces, oh God, that's really good. Four ounces is enough. Mm, needs more salt. Let's see if our cupcakes are done. Those smell really good. All right, these are looking already better. They're just slightly brown on top. Perfect. We're gonna let these bad boys cool off, finish whipping up our buttercream frosting, and then start decorating. 
we had to take a little break. <laughs> Made these cupcakes yesterday, as it turns out. We're gonna frost them today. It's giving them extra time to cool. So I have my frosting that might be a touch on the boozy side. So what we're gonna do is take a uh, piping bag and cut the end off, fit the tip in, just the tip. And then I'm gonna use this just to stand the bag up uh, to put the frosting in. You could also just ice these with a knife. That seems totally fair, <laughs> but we're gonna be a little extra about the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, look at that. The outside, I'm just squeezing at the top. Look how pretty. Okay, for our final step, we're just gonna grate some fresh nutmeg over these. The one I've been using for everything. Mm, it smells really, really good. Okay, let's give these a taste. <laughs> Which one of you is my victim? <laughs> so the icing is very boozy. If you'll remember, I had a full four ounces. If you don't like bourbon or whatever spirit, maybe dial that back a little bit. I think these are perfect. It's eggnog in a mini cake. Very boozy eggnog. The nutmeg sprinkled on top absolutely makes this. Mmm. That'll do. Also, if you don't do this to your cupcakes, separate the bottom from the top and then take some of the icing and get it on the bottom, you haven't been living. Mmm. I've impressed myself. <laughs> These are delicious. Oh my God. Mm. So if you need a use for that eggnog that you were either bought or made and have too much of now, this is the way my friends. Eggnog cupcakes, boozy, bourbon, buttercream icing. Oh my God. I think once a year is all you can do with these. Otherwise, hello Lipitor. Mm. Happy holidays. Cheers friends. Mm.